jostling crowds at a London exhibition. Strange faces smile and invite you to pause a while and linger over gaily coloured stands. This is where your imagination can really wander. But where to? Yes, Romania. But what picture does it inspire in your mind? What real-life impression have you of this Iron Curtain country which give Londoners a hint of colour and culture in a crowded exhibition hall? It's often cloaked in silence and mystery, so take a magic carpet trip and you'll immediately discover laughter and fun and spectacular scenery which seems to make a mockery of that east-west barrier. For what could be more western than a cattle drive in a canyon? Climb high into the Carpathian Mountains, and this is the kind of scenery which surrounds you. Roman warriors, exhausted by long battle campaigns, came here to forget the horrors of war. And in later centuries, it was a safe refuge for those fleeing from justice or from tyranny. But the pace of modern life is far from slow at Ployest, where trotting has all the flavour of a Western race meeting, right down to a flutter on the favourite. Capitalists, that's what they are. It's a popular sport, trotting, and draws large crowds to this, one of Romania's best tracks. They're a knowledgeable audience, too, never out of step with the latest form and forecasts. One sure bet is that wherever you look, Romania has the type of panorama to make you look again. There's a good chance to do just that on the chairlift at the ski and summer resort of Poiana Brasov. Such a trip is a tonic to many, for this is an area which has a great many spas and health resorts. It's exhilarating just going along for the ride, but just imagine relaxing at a hotel 3,000 feet up in the mountains, living, whining and dining in the best of international traditions. The past comes floating back in a land which, despite all its secrecy, has a culture and proud heritage all of its own. This museum has a battle-scarred 400-year history, and every visitor through the ever-widening Iron Curtain door is fascinated by such architectural wonders. Strangely enough, the church has a place in this corner of the communist world. Monasteries like this one in Moldavia are covered with colourful frescoes dating back to the 14th century. Such was the popularity of church gatherings that peasants unable to get inside could follow the Christian story in this language of pictures. A monk strolls in the monastery grounds, yet he hardly reflects the quickening temper of a country which suddenly is reaching out westwards for new ideas and inspirations. There's an urgent drive towards expansion, an enthusiasm which shatters all those illusions of a silent, suspicious country. There's almost a Texas flavour about this scene. The oil rig is a landmark in much of this mineral-rich land, yet here it's just a sightseeing attraction in Bucharest's permanent industrial exhibition. But this is also a city which gushes in other directions, with gaiety and colour, which fascinates the surprised Westerners, thousands of whom have started flying into this satellite state in free world aircraft. What's happening to that old Iron Curtain attitude? This could be Paris and they call Bucharest the Paris of the East. East or West, traffic is a growing problem. That's why you need a good baton-swinging policeman to keep cars and pedestrians on the move. But it's worthwhile parking yourself in the city flower market just to see the rainbow colours which persuade any pavement stroller to buy a bunch.
there's colour and growth to be seen elsewhere in Bucharest. That Paris flavour is evident again in the wide tramcar carrying boulevards, while flats dominate every horizon. It's a city of architectural fascination. A vast dome-like structure is the new concert hall. And what circus wouldn't dream of this as a permanent home? Because that's what it really is, Big Top Deluxe. There's certainly no restriction on luxury. Bucharest, despite its inland situation, has a seashore attraction in the wave-making machine which operates in this hotel swimming pool. The sort of thing you'd find in New York. Mamaya is Romania's great summer resort, an ultra-modern sun-splash shoreline that has all the attractions of the West Indian or Mediterranean coastline. Just three miles of shimmering sands facing the Black Sea and undoubtedly in the swing with the best of Western traditions. New hotels are mushrooming along the coastline, but there is room for expansion if you're interested in a camping holiday. Nothing's too much of a strain in this sunshine setting, except for the four-legged friends who always need some persuasion. The outdoor life is ideal in a climate which encourages all kinds of fruit to flourish. This succulent stall has been designed to commemorate the August Revolution of 1944, and everyone gets a taste of this celebration. You're not likely to forget the name, are you? Because who could have imagined all this back in London? Suspicious, sullen Romania is really a vivacious young girl, flirting with Western ideas and beckoning the tourist to come just a little further afield in the search for fun and bright lights. For some, it could be love at first sight.